I'm here with this awesome and good looking choreographer. Actually, he's an award winning dancer and choreographer, and his name is Chris Scott. Hey, everybody. Hello, Chris. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Today, we're going to be focusing on Chris's work behind the camera, including So You Think You Can Dance, the LXD, Studio City, the Academy Awards, and Dancing with the Stars featuring the LXD. So, tell us about your experience on So You Think You Can Dance. The experience on So You Think this season was pretty intense. Um, I did a whole bunch of numbers this season. Getting to work with somebody like Cyrus was really amazing this season. It was something new because we've never had an animator on the show, uh, which is something that I love to do. And this season was also the first time I got to perform on the show. And it was, it was an interesting thing. It came about because uh, whenever I pitched them the ideas, I kind of dance for them in the office. I'm dancing for the producers. And I'm up there like, I'm like, oh, we can do something like this, this, this. And then it came down to the finale and they kind of were like, do you want to perform with Cyrus, Comfort, Twitch? Uh, yeah. When that music started and I was on that stage live, I was so nervous <laughs> starting off. And then the first move happened, I kind of messed up. I pointed down a little bit earlier than when they pointed down. I was like, okay, get it together. <laughs> So tell me how working on LXC has really shaped your career as a choreographer. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're saying, it really completely shaped it. We got off the movie Step Up 2 with John Chu, and him and Adam Savani started this idea, like, let's battle Miley Cyrus on YouTube. So it started out for fun, so it was always fun for me. And then when John came to me and Harry with this idea, we wanna do dancing superheroes, I was like, oh, I love superheroes, I love dancing. And so I really didn't know what I was gonna do, I kinda just went with it. So tell us about the very first LXD performance on So You Think You Can Dance. They asked us if we wanted to do a live show, and none of us, we, we were, that was not in our plans. So we were like, do you guys, everybody was like, do you want to do this? John was like, to me and Harry, do you guys want to do it? And we're like, yeah, we're down. We had no idea what we were going to do. And we were just talking, and me and Harry just agreed that we wanted our live shows to look like a ballet. We wanted to treat them like a ballet because ballet gets so much respect and we feel like street dancing doesn't normally get the same respect and it's not considered high art. When I watch ballet, I see one group coming this way, one group coming this way, and they kind of swoop around each other, and one group leaves, and then another group comes in, and they build into this big group. So that was our goal, and then we were like, let's put it to kind of more beautiful music. From then on, we kind of just went with this idea of showing street dance as being this beautiful high art. Tell me about the LXC performance that just happened. They asked me if I was interested in doing the song Titanium, uh, the producers of Dancing with the Stars. It was very different for LXD, mm -hmm. um, but then different's kind of always been our, our thing, so kind of took it and was like, yeah, how can we do that song and then make it a little different? Let's have Nathan Lanier, our composer that's done a lot of LXD's composing, let's have him kind of score it. And then Christina Grimmie tying everything together with her voice. The song really inspired the story of a woman and her struggles and overcoming that. It was definitely a piece for women. The lead female dancer um, was Jessica Keller, who's um, an amazing, I actually met her the first time I ever did Dancing with the Stars. Like, we actually fell in love. I know. So it was really a special piece. Um, That's really cool. Yeah, it's time too, to get to show her how incredible she is. Um, she's just an incredible contemporary ballerina. What are some of the most rewarding parts of being a choreographer of competition shows and web shows and? Yeah, I think the most incredible thing is being able to put this kind of art on national television. It's yeah. just, it's it's new. It's, it's So You Think You Can Dance, Dance With The Stars, um, America's Best Dance Crew. Like these shows have allowed us this platform to do art, like right. our art, what we love to do. Okay, so Chris, are there any projects that you're working on right now that you want to share? I'm working on a show on a Disney Channel called <gasps> Austin and Alley. Great yeah. show. It's really fun. Uh, Ross and Laura are great. The whole cast is just amazing. They're so fun to work with. And I get to come over here and, and kind of have fun with the young audience and try to keep it inspiring for a generation way younger than I've I'm used to inspiring. Thank you so much for coming by, Chris. You're amazing. <laughs> you. And I know you can do it. You can definitely make me a famous dancer. I want to know what your favorite dance moments are from this year's So You Think You Can Dance, Dancing with the Stars. I want to see them in the comments below. And until then, see you guys next time.